let's talk about print area, or rather setting your print area in Excel. So Excel, unlike other programs, you kind of have a, you know, a few things to consider when printing. And the print area is just one of those things. So for example, if I were to go to print preview right now in this workbook, you can see it's printing all of the columns going along the top, starting a product type, week one, two, three, four total, and my trend line. And of course, all the products. So let's just say, as an example, I did want to print all those columns, but I only want to print down to my vegetables information. Well, what you can do is you can select the range of cells that you'd like to print first. And then if you go to the page layout tab, you have a button here that says print area. And you can choose set print area. So what that does, that identifies that these are the cells you want to print. So if I go back to file now and choose print, you can actually see it's only printing those rows. It's not printing the additional ones. And this of course works for any scenario. Let's say I wanted just to print week one and week two. Well, I'm gonna select that area, go to my print area and choose set print area. And that's going to set the new print area to be the range that I have selected. If I go back to file print, you can see that that change has been made there. One quick um, extra piece about setting your print area is to work with multiple uh, print areas. And keep in mind, those are gonna be split across uh, multiple pages. So as an example, my print area right now is set from A1 down to C10. Well, let's say I wanted to add these two columns to that. So I'm gonna select the area that I'd like to add to the print area, click the print area button and say, add to print area. Now. You'd think maybe it was just gonna attach the two things together, but if I go to File Print, you can see page one is those first three columns, and then going a page across is now printing columns, uh, the other two columns that I would have added to the print area. So any additional ranges you add to the print area are gonna be added to subsequent pages by default. If you want to clear the print area, just wanna wipe it out and say, take me back to normal. Well, you can click the Print Area button, choose Clear Print Area, and of course, if I go back to my print preview, I can see it's back to the default, which is printing all the information on that particular worksheet. So you have it. It's a key feature when printing in Excel. It's called setting your print area. Give it a try for yourself.